Well, a pleasant good day to all of our viewers again. Welcome to another episode of Agri Nuggets. If you're finding here in some noise at the side of me right now, don't worry, don't let that disturb you. Digest my friends and them here. Doing a little feeding, alright? Afternoon feeding before they head in into bed. Alright? Now, here we're going on. What I would like to highlight today in Agri Nuggets is gummy stem blight and watermelon. Right? So, gummy stem blight is very common in watermelon. Yes, we know that. But what do you look out for? Alright? Okay. You look out for first the splitting of the stem. Alright? Most of the time, from my observation, from whatever experience I have gathered, the, from the moment the vine starts to run, okay, or from the moment the plant starts to, to, to vine, okay, you would have the gummy stem blight most of the time coming from during that stage of growth okay how you would observe it you would see the stem of the watermelon vine splitting you would observe a splitting of the stem okay mainly most of the time you would see it from where the main stem comes from the ground where the root area is that main part of the stem first couple of inches you would see it splitting also apart from the splitting you would see substances oozing out of it gum oozing out of it all right that is another sign of gummy stem blight this has always been a problem in watermelon and pumpkin and other cucurbits okay not only watermelon pumpkin uh carayli uh, christophine all the cucurbit family okay including cucumber as well gummy stem blight is very common and can be controlled by using a range of fungicides all right you have the option of using silver curl combi that is the first option you have i would suggest silver curl combi is just 2.5 ml or half a teaspoon to a gallon of water okay that is half of a teaspoon to a gallon of water and you can do a root drench which is excellent or you can also do a foliar application but if you can afford to do a root drench that would be great okay um so the silver curl combi first second you also have the anthracol the anthracol is very effective against gummy stem blight as well um for the control of gummy stem blight for the prevention use anthracol anthracol at the rate of one to two tablespoons per gallon is very effective for preventing and controlling gummy stem blight. Also, you have the other option, number three, which is the repel. Now, we learn from farmers, all right? Um, and we don't only go to teach people or to lecture to people. No, no, no. When we come in the field, we try to gather as much knowledge as we can gather from you, the farmer, as well. All right. And one of the recent discoveries, one of the recent things we are looking at, number three, as I had mentioned, um, a farmer in Moruga, a well experienced farmer, all right, he has been growing pumpkins, watermelon for over 30 years now. But he has mentioned to me, he has said, Michael, recently I noticed we have been getting control with the gummy stem blight by using the repel extra. Okay, so the repel extra um, has been word from the farmer. All right, so far, um, further tests will have to be done with that. All right, further tests will be done, but um, to rectify. Well, not to rectify, but to confirm that, okay? But Anthracol and Silver Cure Combi is the two options I will leave with you all for now. Okay, the repel is pending, all right? But the farmer has said he has gotten excellent results when he had used the repel extra towards gummy stem blight. Okay, so this is Agri Nuggets again. Okay. These boys and them want to let us know that they're here in order to, right? They want to be a part of this thing. So, I just want to wish all the farmers all the best, alright? And look out for another episode of Agri Nuggets. Thank you.